All right, we're gonna do a tutorial for the RTA 00 silo run. Um, there's quite a bit to talk about on this level. Um, it's really high variance. Um, you can get it fairly consistent. Um, time loss can vary a lot. Um, you can lose runs. There are some RNG things that will completely screw you, such as um, grenades going off at certain parts, so scientists fail. Um, you can also get stuck on guards and have missed the uh, door cycles, which is like really, really bad as well. But I'm going to go through most of it, what you can do, what helps. So the, the uh, cinemas are random on Jap. There's like six or seven of them. And uh, the cinemas that you get will actually affect the guard positions in the level. So at the start of the level here, you want to kill these two guards. Depending on cinema, there might be a third guard down this hall. You have to be aware of that. You so you're probably not going to get all three, but you want to kill this guy and this guy. Wound this last guy with your last bullet if you can. If there's three guards, uh, you want to get some ammo here. Um, this door here, I just do a switch for a warp if I can get it. Um, with the RTA strat I use, um, I don't shoot any bullets in this room. I run by this guy. You don't get his key card. You just pick up your circuit boards and pause on the stairs. Okay, so when you're in the pause menu, you have to select KF7, and then you pick Plastique, which is under the KF7. I actually over-scrolled over in this room by one. It's very important to know your menus to maximize or minimize your time loss in the um, menus. But kill is KF7, Plastique, Camera, and then all the circuit boards and their key cards go underneath that. Um, if you pick up a grenade, though, and a run, it'll go right under the KF-7 and it'll completely screw up your inventory, so you got to be aware of that. Also, DD-44s can screw up your inventory if you kill a scientist and he pulls out a gun. Um, so yeah, we're going to pick up the plastique, and we're going to throw it right on the door as we get there, right when we get there. Boom. Guard can hear this throwing animation. It's like you're firing your weapon, and this will alert this guard to open the door. So we switch back to KF-7. Three bullets in that guy, and three bullets in this guy. You shoot about eight bullets here. And then we shoot one burst on this guy. And then from here, depending on the guards, I try to take them all out. Um, they will be in various positions. But you want to kill as many as you can. And then stop shooting just as you get to the stairs and reload. And then I try to kill one or two of these guards if I can while I'm waiting for the door to open. That was pretty good. This door will open. You'll want to shoot this guy in the head if possible. And then you're going to run fast as you can towards a circuit board and pause behind the stairs. So what this does is this is actually a safe spot here. Guards, this is a wall, so guards can't see you from anywhere except behind you, and the guards don't take that route because the stairs are there. So in this spot, it's real safe. You want to get here as fast as possible, pull your plastique. And then you're going to run towards the body armor on this crate here, throw it on the wall, and get the body armor. Switch weapons. Now this, this, this is a clusterfuck, essentially. The guards can, there can be tons of guards, there can be a few guards, stairs are blocked, stairs are not blocked. You need to get those stairs immediately, otherwise you're going to miss the door cycle. So you're just going to try to get through there as cleanly as possible. I usually not even strafe, I take a run for it, kill guards if I have to, and just kind of make sure I get up the stairs immediately. Next guard, three shots, and then a reload, and then I shoot immediately. This will time the next door cycle. This run was actually so fast that I got both door cycles. So usually that door will be closed, and then this one will be open. But um, you want to make sure you shoot all these guards. Don't get stuck if you can. Just try to be as clean as possible. Easier said than done, but you want to stop shooting here. If you shoot too much and get stuck... Guard's going to warp the next door, you're going to be locked out, you're going to take a beating, and you're going to take a huge time loss. Also, if that happens, the next guard might warp the next door, and you'll be completely locked out of leaving the room. So you start shooting again at the top of the stairs, and then you shoot all the way to the end. Hopefully this door starts to open around now, usually it does. Now, you have to be very aware of what's happening here when you come in this room. You're going to check right in the corner to see if the scientist is here. If he's here, if you run at him, he will throw you through the dat. Uh, it's possible he's left the room and the dad's laying here. It's also possible he'll be standing behind this pillar. In which case, I actually recommend trying to shoot him in the head. Because he won't see you. And you just want to get out of this room as fast as possible to make this door. And so that the room doesn't blow up and all the scientists die. So, I'm going to try to kill this guy real quick. Got him. 
And then we're going to get a break for the uh, last circuit board behind this guy. And then up the stairs, there will be one guard here and sometimes a guard at the top. So you don't want to pause too early. I'll check. Okay, we're good. So you're going to pause here for your plastique and throw it out to the side. Um, depending here, if your health's really, really bad, um, I would probably be resetting at this point. But if you're doing a little bit of safer strats, there's a four body armor around the corner to your left here that you can pick up. But uh, I don't really recommend it if you're going for a fast time. These two guards, I'll shoot with the KF-7, and then you want to put your KF-7 away. If you make too much noise, the guard at the end of the level will warp out the door, and you'll be locked out of the satellite room. So that's real bad. So you just want to kill these two guys. PP-7. So I use the PP-7 to warp this door, and then shoot this guy. Depending on your pace, there could be two guards here, or the other guard could be opening this door. So you just got to be aware of that. And then I warp the door there. And then as soon as you get to the end of the crates, that's when you want to start shooting the KF-7. Shoot it all the way to the door. Make sure to keep looking at the door the whole time and pause with it in view. Otherwise, guards can warp. So yeah, that's good. I'm going to pause right in front of that door, looking right at it. I'm going to pull out the camera. Camera is always one under plastique. So we're going to scroll down once. Boom, camera. And then you're going to spam camera like crazy. Um, sometimes you get stuck in this guard. I recommend trying to get this body armor. It's to the left here as you run by for safety. On this run, I kind of got boosted past this guard, so I just avoided the BA because I had four bars. No, I still got it. I thought I skipped it. Yeah, as soon as you get on the stairs here, you pause for the plastic. And then you're pretty much home free. Just got to make the ending. Unfortunately, we don't get to pick the PP7 in the menu there. So warp is to KF7. Unlike the I always go to PP7, so it's a little less reliable. But uh, he's got to save that menu time. So I didn't get the warp there. And then he's just going to make a mad dash for the exit. So things that can be wrong this level. Getting locked out, which is mostly avoidable. If you're looking at all the doors if, as you run by. Not getting stuck majorly. And then also if grenades go off, really bad. Uh, if the first guard in the level, I didn't go over this because it's pretty rare. The first crate guard in the level, before the first room pulls a grenade, you need to shoot him. If you shoot him, he won't throw the grenade. He'll just keep holding it indefinitely. And if he throws that grenade, you probably will fail the scientists. Also be aware of your scientist's death rate. You can have two die. No big deal. Third one's a fail. So if you're having a high scientist rate of death, just avoid killing him in the third room. And just wait for that, uh, that, that dat drop. So this room was, I believe, a 139. Um, it's fine. I usually average a low 140. Target times obviously sub 140. High variance level. Um, see, it mostly comes down to OCB. And just gotta be aware of your surroundings and react accordingly.